Greetings all, the TV Smokey here. All right, I'm in a parking lot because I wanted to pull over and do a custom white balance. I'm continuing the testing of the fake S Cinetone for my Sony A6600, and I wanna do three tests, basically. One yesterday was in studio, so I set the custom white balance for in my studio, and that's pretty much not gonna change because uh, you know I use the lighting that I use. I'm gonna stick with the lemon yellow, I just think it sort of accents everything and it keeps things bright and you know with the lighting that I've got now yesterday I did order the aperture MC for light travel kit so that'll be in hopefully by the end of the week and then you know I might play around with those lights a little bit I do need a little bit more light for the overhead and and we'll see what those lights look like instead of the photo deox LED panel since that's older technology i mean it looks fine but if i can use identical lights and and use what one two three aperture mcs instead of what i'm using now and see what it looks like so other than that that's not going to change the point being i wanted to do the fake s cinetone in studio using the custom white balance three on my camera custom white balance two i'm doing for in the forerunner because that's another thing that I'm doing all the time. I'm driving around filming. So I just did that in the parking lot. And then I wanna do, you know, just sort of the run and gunning custom white balance. So if I'm out and about, you know, I'll take a custom white balance for that. And that'll be the three spots for my custom white balances. Two of them probably never changing, being in studio and in Forerunner. One thing I forgot to do yesterday that ever shot had suggested when you're doing the, the fake S Cinetone. And that's when you go in to editing, you have to turn up the brightness positive 0 0.02. I didn't do that. I doubt you'd even notice the difference. So I need to remember to do that. Although I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world if I don't. So I wanna see what that looks like. Okay, so this has been a real pain in the ass. It, it is just one of those days that doesn't wanna cooperate. Um, the sun keeps coming out then going away, then coming out, then going away, and there's nowhere that I can go that it, that has any kind of steady lighting outside. That is, and the whole point of this is being outside. Right now, there's like this gigantic patch of blue, so the sun's out. You know, I took another white balance, and now I'm sitting on this picnic table that's completely shaded. But as you can see, I've got this bright, almost like white-colored building behind me, and then I got a little bit of foliage trees and stuff but still the building and then you know I mean you can see well maybe you can see I don't know because this is so jacked up but you can you can't even really see the sky it's all blown out but as you can see from my glasses that it, it even though the Sun was not out the whole time they're pitch black uh, transition is full on so I'm surprised I can even see the screen to tell you the truth so it's kind of a bust with filming today because the situation continually changes every five minutes. But I guess that's a test in itself to see how it deals with everything. I still think that the, the tones and the colors are all really good. I'm still going to say that this fake S Cinetone is a success as far as true to life colors. It looks good. I don't think I'm going to need to boost the brightness. That's for sure, because this is so crazy. With the, with the lighting and you know sometimes you get what you get you cannot control mother nature like you can inside of a studio inside my studio I can control all that lighting I can put the curtains and draw the blinds and I can change the intensity of each light to get it exactly how I want it which took me a while to get to but like I said that particular white balance that custom white balance for in the studio isn't going to change because the situation is not going to change like this this is insane I'm not even going to bother going down to the boardwalk because it's going to be even worse because then you've got sand and concrete and it's just the brightness is out of control and there's no trees down there I mean an occasional palm tree by the hotel but you know it's not that big of a deal and it's also gonna be crazy windy down there because it's even windy right here if I even go those two or three blocks down to the boardwalk the wind is just gonna be out of control now I do have my trusty road wireless go on and it's gonna block most of that but I just with a hat on and I just don't even feel like dealing with it I will say this I will I will sort of recap Yes, I think that the fake S Cinetone settings 
are a win. They were a win in studio. They're a win out here, despite the fact that there are so many crazy changing sun, no sun, you know, shadow, light, and all that kind of stuff. But I still think that that the the that the skin tones and all the rest of the colors that are around me are pretty true and they look pretty good. That's all I've got for you today. Sorry this was such a bust, but like I said, in a way it wasn't a bust because it just shows you what this is going to look like under those crazy situations that you cannot control. And again, I think that it was a success. So as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.